Jim, a pilot, remember, had been doing some informed thinking, and he figured Jerry would certainly have had time to save Diane's life if he wanted to. I would guess you'd be lucky to get five minutes. You know, five minutes is a long time when you're, when you're in a hurry. You can do a lot of things in five minutes, and you can get two people out of an airplane and get what you want out of it. And if there was that much time, why didn't Jerry get her out of there? Why didn't he even take out the two-person rubber raft he'd stashed in the cargo compartment? A theory began to harden in the deputy's head. He could have gotten her out of there. Well, that's my opinion. That's uh, yeah. my opinion is he could. And you must have been thinking that at the time. I was concerned of why, because I know he also he, he also got out with his equipment. Oh, yes, Jerry's equipment. That duffel bag wrapped in green plastic. He was seen with it on shore after the crash. It contained his clothes and money, though they didn't know that for quite a while. 2,200 bucks he and Diane, mostly Diane, had saved for the trip. I thought it was very convenient that uh, he got that bag and uh, he wasn't able to get her out. Convenient. It's convenient for him. Yeah. Not so convenient for her. No. We, we've all been 18 and in love, and, and we know how intense that is. If that's the woman I was going to elope with and run away with, and I couldn't get her out of the airplane, you would have found me in it, too. And that really was the heart of your belief that this guy had done it on purpose. I think he took, a, took advantage of an opportunity and let her go down or just didn't try. Yeah. And until he saved himself and not her. I mean, I mean one of the two things happened. I, that's, I, I don't know how you could explain it any other way.